Hi there, my name is Dan and this is a free extract from my longer Dreamweaver course that's available on bringyourownlaptop.com. But don't worry, there's lots of free stuff here. Check out the description for the exercise file so you can play along with this tutorial. Also in the description, there'll be a link to the playlist that will show you all the stuff that is free as part of this course. All right, let's get on to the tutorial. Hey there, in this tutorial we're going to look at adjusting our site for the different tablet sizes and mobile phone sizes. Okay, and they're called media queries. You can kind of see them up the top here. So our website's at desktop, so the, the header there is grey. And if I get down to a tablet size, hey presto, it's red. And I get down again to mobile and it's green. I know those are ugly colours, they're just there as placeholders to test our media queries. Let's go and do that now in Dreamweaver. Okay, so it's time to get all responsive and mobile friendly. And it's actually really easy. So what we need to do is we need to look at something called a media query. First thing we need to do is look at this media queries bar. If you can't see yours, there's a little icon here you can turn on and off. If you don't have that bar or that icon, it might mean that you're using an earlier version of Dreamweaver, maybe CS6 that doesn't have this option. And unfortunately you can't follow this particular tutorial. You can still do media queries, but you have to hand code them. You can't use this nice little uh, interactive thing at the top here. So we're gonna use this thing, okay? And it kind of tells you what to do. It says, click on this icon to add a media query. And that icon is over here, that's in there. Okay, so we're just gonna click on it. Okay, and we're gonna say, our first one's going to be tablet. Okay, because we've kind of already done desktop. Desktop is considered global in our case. Some people design their websites around mobile first. Okay, that term mobile first means I'm gonna design it for the mobile, and then I'm gonna make a media query that overwrites the mobile with tablet, and then over the top of that in desktop. I design my websites the other way around. And I always find that my students find this easier. We design the desktop version mostly, because often there's more in that site, and it's kind of how most people view a website depends on your kind of website but definitely my stuff 80% of views are from desktop so I'm using a desktop first approach so we're going to click this little plus button again and we're going to work on tablet first so we're going to say a tablet is going to be between these two so it's going to have a minimum of a certain size and a maximum of another size and that's going to be considered tablet now it's a little hard to get the exact measurements because there's so many tablets out there and so many different sizes so what we say it's a minimum of about 401 okay is the smallest okay anything smaller than that we'll consider a mobile phone and we'll do a media query separate for that how big should it get is 768 is the width of an iPad where it's in portrait. So we use that size. There's no reason why you couldn't use 770 or say this is in the distant future when there's lots of different sizes, you might decide that that's too small or a different size. It's kind of a, just a generalized sizing for now, but it would be a really typical size to use. Where is it gonna go? Okay, it's gonna go inside my styles.css. I'm gonna click okay. And you can see here, there's my little blue bar. Okay, that's a min-max. Okay, it's got a minimum and a maximum, and we're gonna have things trigger when it gets to that size there. Let's have a little look at our styles.css. Click on the related documents bar here. You can see that is what a media query looks like. That's the syntax. Now again, if you're using a version of Dreamweaver that doesn't have this nice little handy bar, you can just type it in here. Okay, so that is considered my tablet. Now what we'll do is we'll put a few returns in just above it. And we'll add some comments just so that later on we know what we're talking about and what we're doing. To add comments in Dreamweaver, there's this option here. It says apply comment. CSS comments look like this. Okay, it's a slash and then an asterisk. And that needs to go between here. And we can say uh, this might be my tablet view. Now this is ignored by the browser. It's just here for humans. Okay, so you don't need to write this. This is just me. So later on I can say go to tablet view and you know where to go. Cool, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our mobile view. So we're gonna click on this little plus again, okay, and we're gonna use a max, okay, so a max width of 400. It's gonna go into styles.css, let's click okay. You can kind of see up here, so anywhere up until a maximum of 400 will be my mobile view, and then the tablet view takes over, okay, and it's just one pixel more than my mobile view. Okay, if these were both 400, I have no idea what will happen. They'd probably just fight it out and there'd be blood and CSS everywhere. But okay, so just make sure 400 and then 401 is where the next one starts. 
Now in this tutorial, we're just doing mobile, tablet, and desktop. You will find lots of other sites that have five views or four views or seven views. Okay, we're just gonna do three, and professionally, that's normally all I attack. Okay, is small for mobile, kind of a medium size for tablets, and a big size for all desktops. You can see down here in my CSS, I'm going to add that comment again. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna copy this one and paste it here on top, and this is gonna be my mobile view. What I'll also do to make things a little easier is we'll put in up the top here, underneath that, okay, we'll put in this is going to be my global view. Okay, global slash desktop view. Just so that when you're working, you can kind of know these. All right, now nothing much happens other than we've got color boxes up here. Now we need to do some slight adjustments. So what we're gonna do is we'll go back to source code, okay, and we'll go to CSS designer, and we'll say in my styles menu, we've got these guys. Before we just kept on clicking on global and these two didn't exist. Okay, now we can say I like a global. Uh, so global's got my two styles that we've got, the header and the container. So what I'd like to do is I wanna adjust the background color of this header. And I wanna do it for tablet first, which is this min max one, which is 401 to 768. Okay, and you can see there's no selectors here. Okay, so nothing specific for tablet. And I'm gonna say, yes, there is. Well, there's gonna be now header. Okay, so. We've got one for header. You'll notice that we've got one for global header now and one for tablet. Okay, now this one here in tablet does nothing yet. I'm just gonna go to background, go to background color, pick a big obvious color like red, hit return, and I'm gonna drag this in. And what you'll notice is nothing happens. I'm gonna hit save all, still doesn't change. Okay, that's why I don't like using this live view at the top here. There's just a few little things that don't update. But if I check it in my browser, Okay, here it is, and I drag it down, and I get to my 768, somewhere around here. Hey, hey. And that, my friends, is all media queries are. You're just saying, between these two pixels, do something different. And we're saying, override the heading, and make it red instead of gray. Okay, we can do the same for mobile. Let's jump in here. And I'm gonna say, styles.css in my maximum of 400. Remember, that's my mobile view. I'm gonna say, you, header, typing it in, Return again, I'm gonna say B, background color of green. We're not gonna keep this, this is more about an example. Okay, I'm gonna save all, I'm gonna check it in my browser. So big, tablet, mobile. Awesome, eh? And that's all media queries are. So we're gonna go through and do things like, I'd like the font to be bigger. I'd like this box to stack differently. And that's how we're gonna achieve all these different things, you can see the font becomes centered when it's mobile, or it's left aligned when it's in tablet. Okay, it's smaller when it's a mobile, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, I want this heading to be smaller, please, just within this media query. And that's all responsive web design is. Let's jump back into Dreamweaver. You can see here, that one's updated. That one quite hasn't yet. Save all, you can, if you wanna keep using this view, you can get a view and go to refresh view, okay, or F5, okay, and that should get it going. So when we are, I'm gonna double click this gray area to go fully back out. And um, we're gonna look at the next video, we're gonna look at previewing it through your phone or tablet. There's a really cool feature using live preview. So let's do that in the next tutorial. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel. Also go to bring your own laptop for the full premium version of this course. Also on that website is a free resources section where you can download PDFs, especially for this, the Dreamweaver cheat sheet. Okay, it's a PDF, you print it off, stick it next to your computer and be more awesome. Bye now.